Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my fourth video lecture on C++ programming. In the previous video, I was talking about the tool chain and IDE. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to install tool chain and IDE in your system. If you haven't watched the previous video yet, just go to that video and watch it because that video is totally linked to this video. I'll, I'll give the video link in the description box below. So stay tuned. First of all, I'm gonna show you how to install Toolchain in a Linux operating system. Just open your terminal. This is version. Just enter this command. You can see whether it's installed in your system or not. So this is already installed in my system. Um, if it is not installed in your system, then you can enter this command. To do a bit install build. Build essential. Just enter this command. In a C++ compiler will be installed. Okay. Yeah. Now, full chain installation is done. And as I said, I'll be using Sublime Text as a text editor. I'm going to download Sublime Text now. To do that, just open your browser. Just type here install Sublime Text. For Linux. Now, just follow these steps one by one. It's already downloaded. Now, go to your application list and install the application here so this is the text editing application open it create a new file here and save it this dot p so this file will be considered as c++ programming file i'll be using this text editing application to write my c++ code and i'll be using this terminal to compile and run my program now as i said if you don't use ide you need to pass your file name to the tool chain and tool chain will take care of everything and it will give us the final output but to do that so this is the c++ programming file that i have created just now to compile and run this file you'll have to enter this command c++ this.cpp minus o and your output file name I can give any name here it will give error obviously because this file is an empty file I have not written any code here today today I'm not gonna move to coding I'll I'll be entering this command to compile my program now if you want to install the same for other operating system you can do that uh, now I'm gonna show you how to install ID in Windows operating system so let's check out to Windows in your Windows operating system, just open your browser and type code blocks. Open the first link. So you can see here this is open source, cross platform, and freely available. Now go to downloads, and we have three options download the binary release, download the source code, retrieve source code from SVN. Since we need only the exe file, we'll click on here. Now you can see CodeBlocks is available for different different platforms. This is for Windows, for Linux, Mac. So this is what we are interested. Um, these are all the files that um, we can download from here. The description are written here. The CodeBlocks 20.03 setup.exe file includes CodeBlock with all plugins. CodeBlocks 20.03 setup admin.exe file is provided for convenience to users so that they do not have administration right on their machine so if you don't have any admin rights in your system then you can you can go for it um, but I hope you already have admin rights in your system so we can go for this one what what is it written codeblocks 20.03 mean w setup.exe file includes additionally bcc C++, Z Fortran compiler and ZTB debugger from minzwwc64 project. 
that means minzw setup.exe file is containing toolche and woodblox 20.03 setup.exe is not containing any toolset. So we can download this file. So I'm gonna click on the first link. Our oh, download is done. Now go to the downloaded file. Just double click on it. Click on next. There is some terms and conditions that are available here. Then you can check these all other packages that we are gonna download here. Um, it's containing this uh, tool set. Click on next. Arrange that. Might take a little time. Okay, now installation is done. Now it's asking if I want to run code blocks now. I'm clicking on yes. Next. Finish. Okay, so here these are the interfaces. Um, you can create new empty file or you can directly create a project here. Empty file. Just save it in a location of your source. Give file name as this dot just click on save now you can write your code here today I'm not gonna write any code I'll be writing first hello world program in the next session so if you want to use this IDE you can click here to compile your program next button is for run and this button is for both compile and run now if you have a Linux operating system similarly you can download and install code blocks for your Linux operating system this is it guys for today if you like this video just hit the like button if you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to it if you have any queries or suggestions to me just drop a comment in the comment section below i would definitely love to answer all and from next video onwards we'll start moving to coding so till then bye bye